everyone, it's Victoria. And today I'm just doing a quick video. I want to talk about if you are trying to start this raw vegan path and you don't even know how, you have, you're like, I don't even know how to start this. I wanna give you a few tips. One of them is to go to the store and have the produce in your fridge. And if you're saying, well, what am I supposed to buy? You need to buy heaps of organic produce, first of all but organic fruit is where it's at. So if you like oranges, buy a huge thing of oranges. If you like kiwi, buy a bunch of kiwi, etc. Now one staple that I would suggest you always keep in your house is ripe bananas. Now don't eat the bananas when they're yellow. You wanna eat them when they're all speckled and they're ripe and their nutrition has um, come to fruition and the starches have turned to sugar and they're ready to eat. Um, the solid yellow bananas are not ready to eat contrary to what most people think. So always keep bananas, um, get some dates, just start doing smoothies. If you don't have a Vitamix, uh, use more water in your smoothies so you don't burn up your blender. But I would always suggest to get a Vitamix or some sort of high speed, high quality blender because you will use it so much and it's so worth it. If you have a food processor, get that out. Um, you can put the shredder attachment and shred zucchini and make just salads that don't bore you. Um, look up videos on raw vegan low fat salad dressings. It's really important to start out low fat because you can start this raw vegan path and just sit in front of the TV and eat a bag of nuts and that's not healthy, you know what I mean? So keep it low fat and just eat a lot of fruit. And one thing that you might notice is that, is that you might not feel very good the first couple days or the first couple weeks because that is the first layer of the detox onion. That's just the sludge that from the standard American diet or whatever you were eating that is that has been um, stirred up by the high water content, fiber rich fruits and vegetables. And it's just detox, it will pass and you will feel so much better. But keep in mind that detox can go on for years and that's what you want because detox is the key to health. And I cannot stress that enough. If you eat a raw vegan diet, but you don't detox, you're just, you're doing yourself a misjustice. You want to focus on detox. Um, but, it, but when you're just starting out, just eating fruits and vegetables is um, the first step. So always get a lot of fruit, but get high quality fruit. And what's high quality fruit? Organic. Um, what's even higher than getting organic produce from a grocery store is getting organic produce from a farmer that's local. Um, but I know that that's not available to everyone, but yeah, just focus on fruit and then have a big salad at night and experiment with raw vegan salad dressings because people can eat a salad, sure, but then where their fault comes in is that they douse it with a chemical bomb. Um, a pre-made salad dressing in a bottle that has preservatives, um, it's just not fresh and it's full of chemicals and sludge that is gonna ruin your beautiful salad. So really look into uh, creating raw vegan uh, salad dressings. I have a few videos of that on my channel. My favorite is my tomato red pepper tahini dressing. Oh my gosh, I still eat it a couple times a week. I love it so much. And just keep in mind that you need to keep watching these YouTube videos. Not only mine, although I love mine, but um, you know, Dan McDonald, Dr. Morse, Dara DuBonet, um, you know, if you wanna go down the freely and durian rider path, you can go down that if you want. Um, although I don't really agree with everything they say, but just my point is, is that you need to stay on the YouTube videos because they kept me inspired in the beginning is what I remember, especially Dan McDonald. He is my favorite. And also you need to eat enough. So don't just eat one banana and think you're gonna be satisfied. Eat five, six, seven bananas and be full. Cause these fruits and vegetables are low in calorie, but they're high in nutrient content, which is what you want, but you have to eat enough of them. So yeah, just stock up on your produce keep inspired and be inspired and keep remembering why you're doing this. You're doing this for top-notch health. You're doing this to lose weight. You're doing this to help your internal organs, you know? 
your kidneys, you'll want to you wanna hug them sometimes. And your liver, you want to keep happy. And, and you want to keep the mucus at bay in your body. And you want to boost your immune system. And how do you do that? A raw vegan diet. <laughs> so I hope this video helped. And there's other videos out there on YouTube on how to start a raw vegan diet. So check those out. Don't only watch my videos, you guys. Watch a lot of people's videos on the raw vegan life and find someone that you click with because it's so important because that's what I did. And I'm still watching Dan McDonald to this day and he's still on fire. <laughs> So anyway, just wanted to put out this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.